All right. All right. So, by popular request, <clears throat> doing a tutorial on how to dye wallabies. For starters, I'm not an expert on the subject. I've only done a couple wallabies in my time. So, I know how to do it. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it or the best way to do it or whatever. This is the way I've done it successfully a couple times. Um, getting straight to it. First off, forgive the camera quality. It's just a webcam. Secondly, it likes to autofocus a lot. So, if it gets blurry, you know, pardon. And last, I might sniffle and cough more than one time. More than five times, more than ten times. Because uh, I'm sick as a dog right now so yeah uh, getting that out the way basic sand suede wallaby can it be done with other color wallabies I don't know never tried it I don't know why you would want to it's like I mean can you paint on you know black canvas yeah but you know usually want to start with white I mean, no that's just that's what I would assume <coughs> sand suede wallaby Phoebing's suede dye, suede and rough out. That's the stuff you want. Alright. Uh, today, I had the. Uh, uh, had a little. Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Chink in the arm, a little unforeseen circumstance. Uh, my beautiful girlfriend, she bought me a new pair of wallabies to dye. She unintentionally, without knowing, got me leather dye, not suede dye. Right? Now, the thing is, when you go to get your dye, and this is very important, make sure you get the suede dye <clears throat> specifically because suede dye, when you tape it off, it doesn't bleed past the tape. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you'll understand what I'm saying later when you see when I'm taping things off. But uh, I did a little test on the hang tag and the upper half, because I'm two-toning uh, my first pair, well, my first pair that I'm ever two-toning, uh, experimented on the hang tag. This half right here was taped off and it didn't bleed past the tape at all. It was perfect. The bottom half, <clears throat> I did navy blue with the leather dye and it bled a little bit past the tape. So the positives of the regular dye on suede is it soaks all the way through and when it soaks all the way through you're gonna get well good even colors you know this is the one that I've been working on um, I see some light spots that I may want to touch up later but it, it's a really good saturating color this guarantees that it's not gonna fade over time by the way the green is just the, uh, the tape but yeah make sure you get actual suede dye um, you want painter's tape doesn't matter what color just get painter's tape it could be red white blue whatever yeah this is frog tape multi-surface with paint block unintentionally purchased it just painter's tape uh, you definitely want to get an exacto knife if you can if you don't have a regular razor box cutter anything sharp that you don't have to put a lot of pressure on because you're gonna be cutting a lot of tape um, and that's pretty much it that's all you need it's it's uh, a lot simpler than you think the whole trick is really uh, taping off the sole and taping off the parts that you you know you don't want to die I mean if you want to die up here the collar you don't need to tape it off me personally as you can see I like to tape off the collar I tape off the whole sole in this case because I'm trying to do a contrast heel I taped off the heel cup so We'll see how that works out, but in the meantime, tutorial for one color. Alright. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next thing. Uh, polo pajamas are not necessary. Let me move the suede to the side. Um, right now, what we want to do is tape off the sole. It's real simple. I've never done it in front of a camera, so my technique ain't exactly going to be perfect. You actually want to tape half and half. You see, right? Well, let me bring it a little closer so I can show you the little seam right in between there by the way rubber gloves if you don't want dye all over your hands just saying it'll happen it's not toxic so it won't kill you but if you don't want the dye in your hand rubber gloves just a suggestion anyways uh, you want to tape 
across this the the actual where the, the sole meets the uh, the upper and little trick is as you're taping you want to dig your nail if you have a, a wallaby in your hand right now dig your nail into that seam you kind of feel that that slight wedge a little separation that's what you want to do you want to make sure that you press the tape in between that wedge as deep as you can with your nail don't use you know something with a hard edge you're just going to poke through the the tape the tape is is thick but it's not that thick it you know nail works just fine but uh yeah you want to do that around the whole sole um you also want to get above like i mentioned before uh with this one i don't know if you could tell but you want to get it slightly above the actual uh you want to get it onto the leather as well you know what i mean the whole thing because what you're going to do is and get a nice little seal on the sole itself and then you're gonna cut away the excess peel it off and uh, I think I'll stop it and move on to the next thing so you can kinda see well and again let me show you a little bit of how I do it so you get an idea again polo pajamas not required boom see kinda taping it you're most likely not gonna get it all the way around in one shot but as you can see, you know, the idea is you want to get in between there so that you have a nice little seal. You want to keep the dye off the sole. Boom. So half of it's going to be on the rubber. The other half of the tape should be on the leather. And just want to keep doing that all the way around I like to do two layers I don't know why I don't know if that has anything like beneficial to it I was just paranoid my first time around I didn't want to get any dye on the, on the rubber and so I did two layers you know wrapped it up real good and it worked so I figured I'll make sure I keep doing it like that so yeah just gonna fast forward it from this point you kinda get the idea though